One of the great patterns in the life of the church is the rhythm of fasting and feasting. We've just completed the 40-day fast of Lent and are now embarked on the 50-day feast of the Easter season. Lent is often presented as a desert, and that's a great image. If it's true, then the Easter season is a garden oasis on the far side of that desert. Although I know that's a tough image to conjure up in upstate New York at this time of year. The first part of this great feast is Easter Sunday and the Easter octave, the first seven days of that great season. Liturgically, you'll see a great outpouring of joy. Music, bells, incense, holy water, you name it, we're pulling out all the stops. You'll also note a change in the way your churches look. They'll be decorated again with flowers and banners. Everything about the way we celebrate indicates what the meaning of this feast is. And for us, that's joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ has triumphed over sin and death in his resurrection. And we're called to join in the victory celebration. Easter Sunday and its octaves don't simply invite us, they insist that we join in this celebration with singing and yes, feasting. We're invited to join in the church's proclamation that Jesus Christ is risen indeed.